Good evening, welcome to BBC News at Six. The former senior Conservative Lord McAlpine has publicly denied allegations swirling around the internet that he abused children at a care home in North Wales. He's hit back strongly at what he calls wholly false and seriously defamatory claims against him. It follows speculation after a former resident of Brunestin Children's Home said he'd been abused by a senior Tory politician from the Thatcher era. Our home editor, Mark Easton, has more. After the appalling abuse of scores of children at this and other care homes in North Wales in the 70s and 80s, rumours of an establishment cover-up have refused to go away. Despite two major inquiries, it was widely speculated that a senior Tory politician close to Margaret Thatcher had abused boys in Wrexham. A name consistently appeared on the internet. Today, former Conservative Treasurer Lord McAlpine has issued a statement denying any involvement. I have never been to the children's home in Wrexham, nor have I ever visited any children's home, reform school, or any other institution of a similar nature. I have never stayed in a hotel in or near Wrexham. I did not own a Rolls Royce, have never had a gold card or Harrods card, and never wear aftershave, all of which have been alleged. I did not sexually abuse any residents. We do have to be very careful before casting aspersions against individuals or bandying people's names around, as was being done yesterday, without proper evidence. And I think every institution, every journalist, every politician has to think carefully about those things, so we should all study carefully what he said. Good evening. A Newsnight investigation into the abuse of boys from children's homes in Wales can reveal that two victims... Lord McAlpine's statement comes decades after the rumours first circulated, but days after one of the victims of abuse in North Wales appeared on BBC Newsnight and accused a senior Tory politician, inspiring widespread speculation on the internet. We need to take a, a number of different actions. First thing to try to get this taken down from the internet, which is not going to be easy. And then we have to look at Newsnight and uh, you know, the way in which they behaved and the way they trailed it. They, they made it obvious who it was. This afternoon, the BBC said the Newsnight story was in the public interest. The programme, of course, has already been criticised for not publishing allegations of child abuse against Jimmy Savile, and now is being criticised for publishing unsubstantiated allegations of child abuse against a senior Conservative. But new allegations have emerged in the last few days, stories not investigated before. One man who's contacted the BBC claims that while in care in North Wales in the early 70s, he was drugged, taken away in a posh car and raped in a hotel or house. His abuser, he says, threatened him to never breathe a word. Until now, he has not spoken of his ordeal. If I mentioned it in years to come, if I said anything, he would send the same people to come and get me and my family and I would never see them again, because he had friends in really high places. This evening, the former children's home resident who identified his abuser as Lord McAlpine, Steve Meesham, says he now realises he was mistaken, and has offered sincere and humble apologies to him and his family. Well, Mark joins me now. These, this, this statement from uh, Steve Meesham has just come in. Just tell us more about what he said. It appears that in the last hour or so, he has been shown a photograph of Lord McAlpine. He has seen it and said, apparently, this is not the person I identified by photograph in the early 90s when I was shown a photograph by the police. It's quite clear that this whole rumour that has been so well known uh, by people in, in, in journalist circles and elsewhere is a complete myth. And I think this story perfectly illustrates that the real risks in this whole area. On the one hand, there are victims of child abuse who have never come forward and who are desperate to tell their story and want to be believed. There are also people, perhaps alleged victims, who are mistaken about what happened. And the risks that one accepts those stories at face value could lead to the kind of appalling situation where a person like Lord McAlpine, who is clearly not involved in child abuse in North Wales in any way, ends up having his reputation sullied for decades. It's a real reminder of the risks that we run in this particular area. Mark Easton, thank you.